Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson. Welcome to my YouTube and welcome back to Unturned. All right, I made a little bit of a flubby with my time constraints and I had to do a little bit of extra editing to fix it, but it's okay. I think we got it fixed. So without further ado, Thank you for joining me again. Thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get into some Unturned. Let's get in the dark. Let's go ahead and turn the headlamp on. See, now, isn't that better? Isn't that better than all being left in the dark and stuff? And there was another ATV over here. I wonder if it's got more gas than the one I left up at the... Where'd it go? How much gas does it have? I like its color better, too. It's got 30. We're stealing it. So let's take this ATV. And we're going to hang a right. And go down to the farm. zombie right in front of me. Alrighty then. And there's a well we can fill our canteen in. <coughs> ha ha, come on, get some. There we go. Drop anything good? Probably not. Anybody still in that barn? Alright, chainsaw or crossbow? Chainsaw or crossbow? Or both? <gasps> nope, it's a sport shot. I thought it was a crossbow for a second. Sport Shot magazine. Don't want that. Don't want that. Sport Shot's kind of crappy. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <gasps> Chainsaw! 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 Oh, my baby! My baby! Yes, 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 yes. I got a chainsaw. I got a chainsaw. I got a chainsaw. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd my 45 go? Oh, there it is. Oh, whew. thank God. I don't know. Wow, I was about to get worried. All right, number two. Chainsaw. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. I got a chainsaw. I got a chainsaw. I'm going to slice some zombies up with a freaking chainsaw. It's going to be freaking awesome because it's a chainsaw. Where's the zombie? Where's the zombie? Come here, zombie. There you are. Hey, hey, I got something for you. I got something for you. Want a present? Here's your present. Chainsaw on the face. Ha ha. Hey, you. Yeah, I got a present for you, too. Chainsaw on the face. Ha 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 ha. There's an arrow. If I find a crossbow in the house, then I'll come back and pick up that arrow. Come on, where's some more zombies? Where are you? Where are you, you little green bastards? I got a chainsaw for you. Come on. Come on. Come out and play. Come out and play. Let's play high, high RPM rotating steel in the face. Ha 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 ha. If you can't tell, I love the chainsaw. There's a compound bow. It takes up a lot of space though. And I got plenty of pistols. I've read this one, but I'll go ahead and read it for you. Laura's Diary, page 35. They're acting like everything's normal, but I can tell Ma and Pa noticed it too. I remember growing up here my whole life. My family, my friends, and Montague, but the memories don't fit right, if that makes sense. This is my diary, but reading back, I don't feel like I wrote those things. 
Maybe she was turning into a zombo. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. What do my food and water look like? I'm 58 on hydration and 62 on food. So let's eat and drink a little bit. Let's go ahead and get rid of these tater chips because they take up two spaces. And that'll work. And then let's go ahead and eat the corn. Not that I need the food, but it will give me back some hydration. And they take up two spaces. And that's going to get me 77 on that. And I want to save that bottle of water. So I'll go ahead and eat the cheese. Because that should give me back some hydration. And one more. Okay, that'll work there. And then I can move that there. Leave the eggs there. And then I guess I'll go ahead and pick up that lettuce. No, what I got that up for? I want the chainsaw. The other reason I like the chainsaw is when you're searching stuff, it's just the dot. It's not the, the whole reticle, so it's easier to point at things. I hear another zombie. Where is he? Where is he? There you are. Do a barrel roll. I love it when you guys do barrel rolls. It's awesome. Hey, you! Do a barrel roll. Ah, <coughs> uh, no barrel roll. You know what? I'm going to kill you for that. No barrel roll. You get a chainsaw. Okay, now let's get over here. Grab the canteen fill it up, but if I'm not mistaken, the water is going to be dirty, which you can still drink it, but it's going to work better if you find purification tablets. Purification tablets in it, and you don't have to risk it uh, bringing your toxicity down, because it'll still hydrate you. And, uh, but it might take your toxicity level down a little bit, and you don't want that to get too low. Okay. Ah. That's done. Now where? Uh, the Wellington Farm. So let's turn around and go to the Wellington Farm and see what we can find there. you look at that <laughs> I ran out of gas as I pulled into the driveway that is kind of awesome so I've just got a short walk over that hill to get to uh, Charlottetown and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the Wellington farm and hang on just a second let me check something real quick okay so we're not gonna have to call it quits here I just had to check my recording times and my status and stuff like that on my recorder and it looks like we're going to be able to squeeze another oh 10 minutes or so out of this so we'll be able to finish off this farm hopefully and then go over the hill gotcha go over the hill towards charlottetown i probably won't be able to get all of charlottetown done tonight uh but we will be able to find a safe place to 
to stop until we can get a safe place to stop so that we can get the um, the next episode will start up in there and then we'll be able to finish off Charlottetown there. Okay, what do we got in here? Clothing. A zombie. Seeds. I don't need any seeds. Let's find out. Ah, nope. Can't sneak up on him. He saw me. Or heard me. Or something like that. But I didn't sneak up on him. That's for damn sure. Another arrow. Hmm. Hmm. I left that other arrow at the other farm because I didn't want the compound bow. Oh, I hear a zombie. Must be one over here somewhere. But if I can find a crossbow, I will drop that uh, that ace pistol and take the crossbow. Because I love the crossbow. That crossbow is just badass. Actually, you do some upgrades. I keep forgetting that you can upgrade your character in this damn thing. We're like three or four episodes in, and I haven't upgraded once. And I've probably got plenty of points I can add in, like sneaky beaky, so you move more quietly. And, and there's uh, there's stuff where you can reload faster, and more power to melee attacks, and all kinds of good upgrades you can do. And I probably need to do that, so. Let's go see what else is up in here. More arrows. Let there be a crossbow in the house. Please, please, I want the crossbow. I love the crossbow. The crossbow is my favorite silent weapon. It just is. Because it's awesome. There's another zombie around here somewhere. I could hear him. There's probably a couple around the back. Yep, yeah, there he is. Alright. There we go. So far, so good. So far, so good. What do we got here? Hawkhound? Sport shot. Don't want the sport shot. Sport shot's a piece of shit. Break. Don't need that. Ooh. Jeez. There's one. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You ain't got nothing on me, bitch. Eh. I hear another zombie. Oh, there he is. Right there. Right there. Let's go get him. Because now I'm mad. Because there wasn't a crossbow on the farm. There is another farm. There, there's two more farms there, so... I might get lucky. I might get lucky. And nope, don't want the show field. Okay, so that's this farm done. And I ran out of gas. So let's go ahead and walk over the hill. And get ourselves set up in a decent location. Uh, so that the next episode we can just go ahead and start clearing out Charlottetown. And maybe we'll be able to get Charlottetown all cleared out in one episode. And you know what? I found a bedroll back there in one of the campsites. And I was going to show you guys how to use a bedroll. And I forgot. And don't. Don't. Sorry about that. I probably should have done that. But I just completely spaced it out. Oh well. I might come across another bedroll sooner or later. 
And here we are on the hill on top of Charlottetown. So let's get right down here on this this little lookout rock of mine. And let's grab the trusty dusty binoculars. And let's see what we got going on down here. Okay, there's one there. There's a crawler there. There's a burner in front of the diner and another one in the diner. There's a burner in the post office. What do we got hovering around the police station? Three of them by the back side of the police station, one of them in the back lot, a fireman, a crawler, and a few in the street over by the gas station. There's at least two by the gas station. Looks like there's a cop zombie on the left side of the cop shop. crawler in front of the grocery store, three of them by the pharmacy, a couple behind the pharmacy, don't see any behind the water tower though. Okay, yeah, so the town is pretty much infested. Pretty much infested. So we're just going to go ahead and sit up on the top of this hill here. And I am going to straighten out my inventory, and we're going to call it good for this episode. And thank you very much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Your support means a lot to me. This is a dream come true to me. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I'm finally getting the chance to do it. And I know I wouldn't be able to if you guys did not tune in and support me. Thank you very much. Go ahead and leave me a comment, good, bad, somewhere in between. All comments are always welcome. And once I get enough comments, I'm going to start doing some videos on reading your comments and responding to your comments. I think that'll be pretty cool too. I've got some tutorial videos coming up here pretty soon. I'm going to be doing the Unreal Development Kit and probably uh, Mixamo Fuse for character, um, for character building for video games to start with. And then we'll be getting into some Blender. And I might be doing a few rants here and there. I don't know yet, but that's always a good possibility. Once again, thank you very much for tuning in. If you like the video, then hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Do not forget to check the links in the description below um, for the Wounded Warriors, uh, Wounded Warriors Project and the Disabled American Veterans. Please help support our veterans. Thank you very much once again, and until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.